Understanding the phrase, it's a tight race. Hello, language enthusiasts. In today's video, we're going to explore a fascinating English expression, it's a tight race. This phrase is commonly used in various contexts, and understanding its meaning and usage can greatly enhance your English language skills. So, let's dive in and unravel the essence of this interesting expression. Initially, let's look at the literal meaning of the phrase. It's a tight race, refers to a competition, especially a sports race, where the competitors are so close that it's hard to predict the winner. The word, tight, in this context means very close or neck and neck. This phrase paints a picture of an intense, closely contested race. Now, let's explore the figurative usage of, it's a tight race. In everyday English, this phrase is often used to describe any situation where two or more parties are in close competition. It could be in politics, business, or even a friendly competition. The emphasis here is on the closeness of the competition and the uncertainty of the outcome. To better understand, let's look at some examples. 1. Politics. With both candidates having equal support, it's a tight race to the presidency. 2. Business. The two companies are competing for market dominance, making it a tight race. 3. Sports. The final seconds of the game are ticking, and it's still a tight race. In each of these scenarios, the phrase, it's a tight race, highlights the closeness and uncertainty of the competition. When using this phrase, be cautious not to confuse it with being physically tight or restricted. Remember, the tightness here refers to the closeness in competition, not physical space or tension. I hope this video has shed light on the phrase, it's a tight race, and its various uses in the English language. Whether you're watching a thrilling sports event or discussing business strategies, this phrase can add depth and clarity to your conversation. Keep practicing, and you'll be using English phrases like a native in no time. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next language exploration journey.